her anxiety has come back up. And I can relate, it's happened to me too, with not being out as much. We get anxiety about going out places because it's just been so long. Are you so excited for this? We just arrived at our destination and I personally said it. I said we were not coming back here because we had a tough time with Braley here. That was several we had, years we ago had a, now, right? We had a meltdown here and we promptly left when that happened. Yeah. But, and we said, we're like, nope, never coming back. That was several years ago. Years it was ago. 2018. Yeah, two That's years two ago. two years, not several. That's several to me. <laughs> several is definitely more than two. I'll link the video where we came here I the remember first time. being stressed out. It was hot. Braley was having a meltdown. Everybody was staring. Yeah, it was very stressful. And it wasn't your fault, Braley. I think this shows our mindset has completely changed since then. Lots changed in that time. We know that Braley, Braley will, can have a good time here. <laughs> We've learned not to let one bad experience, like... And we've done some even crazier, bigger, adventure, more risky things. Yeah. If you will, risky, you risky. know? Risky. We went on a cruise. Mm -hmm. Like, we've done so many things that why not? That's do? what I'm saying. Like, an airplane is the most high stress for me, and we do it. Yeah. Fairly so often. Why not come back to the f one of the first places we came in Minnesota when we started vlogging? Mm -hmm. And one of, the, one of the memories that were not the best. Let's remake some good memories. Yeah, let's have fun today. Yeah, and just I'm so you guys know, this. it's not a huge zoo. It's like our small, they have smaller zoos throughout the state. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even call it a zoo. I'd call it a farm with some animals on it. I mean, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. But it's really cool. I like it. All right, B. Are you ready? Ready for this? Really? Are you ready to see some animals? Heck yeah. <laughs> Animals. No. <laughs> or is that just her getting psyched up? I don't know. <laughs> I think she's excited to get out of the house and do something. I think so That's too. We haven't, we haven't been out of the house much with her at all, so. Yeah. Alright, Bean, let's go. You nervous, Braley? Do you remember being here? You can have a piggyback. Hey. Come here. <laughs> Come on. Look. Cheese. Look. Are they pretty? Me. But she's like leading She's out. wanting me to flap with her. Can you <laughs> yeah. see that? Yeah. Good buddy. She's nervous. Is there monkeys in there? Oh, Mr. Monkey. Gorgeous. You've seen those before, huh? No, it says no climbing, please. Do you know that those guys are pretty old? They're pretty old, huh? So they move very slow. <laughs> Scared her. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> They're playing. <laughs> we are fighting for food. <laughs> That's so exciting, though. You like this guy, B? She keeps coming back here. <laughs> yeah. This is new, her holding us. Look, 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 you want to feed him? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that little goat. That is a cute little goat. You want to feed him? You want to feed him? 
Look. Here, little girl. And then this one in that side. See? Let's go feed them. Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the white peacock. Oh, look how he did. One at a time. Come here, see? <gasps> yeah. It's kind of, it's my favorite. Go feed him. These little guys are my favorite. Oh, I'm going to feed the rest of you. Here. You want to feed him? Look. <laughs> 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 He's just so anxious. <laughs> <laughs> this guy wants some food too. Just push each other out of the way. Yeah. Try it again. Look, try it. Yeah. Look at that little tongue. Will you feed oh, the horse food? She almost did it. <gasps> Is you feed horsey? the horsey food? Yeah, you feed horses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the horsey eating. <laughs> Come here, horsey. Come here, big guy. Oh my gosh, the teeth scared me. <laughs> Four little, the littlest goats. Four of them at the same time. And I was in heaven. I just can't wait. Look at this little guy. Oh, I just have to wait to see four of its crackers. Yep. Get some soap right here. Good job. Trash is over here. Oh man, birds will land on us. <laughs> Are you ready? They'll fly to you. Yeah. And then they hold on to the stick. <laughs> I feel like Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? This is weird. I just feel little bird feet and they keep fighting. See? They're just standing on me. Oh my gosh, look at this one. This white one. Oh my gosh. Do you feel like you're hey guys, filming? Guys, guys, guys. Calm do you down. feel like hey. you're filming National <laughs> Geographic stuff? Yeah. You guys. <laughs> Oh, hi. What's up? Why are you guys eating my shoes? No, don't untie my shoes. <laughs> oh, hey, let me put you down. I gotta flip it over. There's a whole other real estate side here. Where's anxiety is at all time high coming in here, but she's getting, I think she's getting better with her headphones. Less sensory input and her helps. Model Magic tactile. Yes. Regulating. Something for her to stim on. But she's like, she doesn't seem to need to be held now that she has, little she has those things, yeah. yeah. Look, brother, they're striped horses. It looks like Jurassic Park behind her. It looks like there should be a dinosaur back there. That's where they're putting their rhino. Mm -hmm. Or rhinos. Or rhinos, yeah. So we did take her to Target a few weeks back in the shoe store, both of which are familiar places for Braley, so her anxiety wasn't as high. But right now, this is a way less familiar place for her, and we haven't been taking those outings and adventures and stuff like that we normally would have last year her anxiety has come back up and i can relate it's happened to me too with not being out as much we get anxiety about going out places because it's just been so long yeah it's kind of that exposure has then therapy. gone down because we haven't been out you can tell she's excited about being out but she's like She's very overwhelmed unsure. at times, yeah. The longer that we're out, though, it seems like she's getting better. And she has her supports. Yeah. I'm gonna not discredit those because those make a huge difference. For yeah. Her. So like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm eating from the middle on the top. He's the boss. That's a swamp. It's nice about Minnesota. What? No gators in our swamps. No gators in our swamps. Unless they were put there. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if you guys noticed, like, Braley does elope still, but she's gotten a lot better about it. 
because they've been working on it at therapy a ton. But, like, that's so much toe walking. She doesn't typically walk like that. Toe walking is a sensory thing for her, too. That yak song quick. The yak song? Yeah. Yakety yak, don't talk back. That one? <laughs> They're pretty much cows, right? I don't know. I feel like they look like cows. I feel like they, they are cows just with lots of hair. They also look smaller. Yeah, definitely well, the smaller. The one cow has the hair, like the bangs. Yeah. Like that. Do they moo? No. Do yaks moo? No, they probably go like yak. Yak. <laughs> Scratch the ground. That's scary. Yeah, look look at, the they do have claws, huh? Yeah, like, look at that tail. Can you imagine getting whacked with that tail? Like kangaroos are good and they can box you. Yeah. For all those of you that live in Australia, are kangaroos really like, I feel like I've heard that there's so many there. Really? Like they're all over the place. I just hear that they can be really aggressive. Tell, tell us a little bit about kangaroos. If you've we're had in, experience with them. Yeah, we're interested. Have you ever had a run-in with a kangaroo? Have you have you had a run-in with a kangaroo? Let's see. We'd like to know. Okay. If we have a farm with a propane tank, can we decorate it like this? talk about now that we're home and everything a little bit more about Braley's anxiety. I was telling David that I have anxiety myself and it's really hard to see Braley struggling so much with those things because I'm a grown adult and I have such a hard time with my anxiety and for her to be going through something similar and she's so young and she doesn't necessarily have all the experience and tools that I have and so it must be so much harder for her and so it hurts my heart to see her that anxious about things but I know that that's kind of the regression that has come from like this whole quarantine thing. And I don't always do well with my anxiety and I don't mean to, but sometimes when she's anxious, it makes me anxious as well. And I know I'm the adult and I'm supposed to control my feelings, but it just kind of feeds into mine a little bit more because I'm worried about her and for her because anxiety is such a big and complex feeling. And like, that's a lot for, a young person to go through. And I know that we're not alone and that anxiety is so common with autism or not and even just in kids more nowadays. I know that we're not alone in this. Just wanted to share a little bit about that. It also speaks volumes that given the right supports, Braley started getting less anxious about what was going on in her surroundings and getting a little bit more confident. It still wasn't 100%, but there's plenty of times that Maybe I'm anxious and I don't cope with things 100% either, but you just kind of make it through. But yeah, it's, it's hard that things have changed right now and so that we are seeing kind of a backward slide with her anxiety. Are you okay? So it is hard that we're seeing that backwards. Hey, I don't even know what I was saying. I was making Braley mac and cheese and she threw up a little bit. I think something was just stuck in her tubes the wrong way because she's fine now. And she screamed afterwards like, ah, really high pitched excited. So whew, we are good there. It's hard seeing those regressions. And although anxiety is something that's kind of a constant or comes and goes, seeing it spike right now because we've had less exposure to different environments, activities, stimulus, stuff like that. It's hard because we spent so much time and energy and effort working on those things. And then right now we're still pretty limited on what we feel comfortable doing and how often we want to get out and get Braley out. But it's something that I think we need to start finding things that we feel comfortable doing with her and taking her out in the world to see and do because I don't want her to slide back into struggling with going places, working on getting her back to where she was at with her anxiety because it's not 
it's not good to see her like that. It is so hard as a parent to see your kid anxious, especially not knowing like exactly what it is that they're feeling and thinking and what about a situation is making them anxious. We just do our best. We're gonna keep at it and see what we can do and how we can help her keep getting back on track. And I know that everybody else is going through the same stuff. Hang in there, you guys. Don't give up. Try to find some sort of balance in between those things. There's a lot of stuff going on that makes it a little complicated right now. All right, with that, I'm gonna leave you there. Braylee is gonna have a song with some food, huh? Can you say bye? Bye. I was thirsty and we got drinks and I went to open my straw. It was sealed with the paper. What am I supposed to do with that? I'll I've have to... never seen that before. I haven't either. I think we should win something for, well, you should win something for getting <laughs> a straw that's closed on one side. Like I've never seen that before. I'm sure it happens more often than we think and you're giving it a lot of credit. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen a lot of straws in my life. And that's the first one I've ever seen that happen to. Every time I'm feeling Glowing in the dark, I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, yeah, you're glowing. In the dark.